we are still in the attitude of thanking God. We are still in the attitude of thanksgiving. Luke 17, 11 to 19 says, Jesus saw them and said, Go, show yourselves to the priest. While they were on the way, they were healed. When one of them saw that he was healed, he came back. He praised God in a loud voice. The story is about the ten lepers. It was only one who saw when he was in that came back to say thank you, God. This morning, we want to say thank you to Jesus. It's allowed us to see January. We saw February. We saw March. We saw April. We saw May. We saw June, July, August, September, October, November. Brethren, let us begin to appreciate him. Let us appreciate him for life. It's not just that you are alive. You are not in the hospital. You are not involved in any type of accident. God has been our provider. He has been our protector. Let us thank you for all he has done for us in the past months. And all that he's even going to do in the remaining months in this year 2019. Let us appreciate this God. Let us appreciate him. Thank you, Father, for all you have done. We came to say thank you. We came to say thank you, Lord. We came to say thank you, Lord. For the past months in 2019, we came to say thank you, Lord, for all you have done for us. Lord, we came to say thank you, Lord, for all you are going to do for us in the remaining months in 2019. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, be magnified, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Psalm 100, verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Even if all the ears on our head are tongues, it cannot be enough to thank him. So, brethren, I want us to also thank him for the grace to see today in the land of the living. Before I continue, it's not about just being alive. Some people are alive, but they are in the hospital. Some people are alive, but they are on, on life support. So, but we, we are alive. We can move about. We can eat what we want to eat. We can do what we want to do. So let us give thanks unto this God for the grace to see today in the land of the living. Let us thank him for health. Let us thank him for divine protection. Let us thank him for his provisions in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not just being alive just like that. But we are free. We can move about. We have health. We have life. We have vitality. We can eat. We can breathe with our nostrils. It's only the doing of the Lord. Let us appreciate him. Let us give thanks unto him. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless your name. We give you praise. We give you all glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Second Kings verse six twenty five says, "There was great famine in the city. The siege lasted so long that that a donkey's head sold for eighty shekels of silver, and a quarter of a cup of seeds poured for five shekels." It was a story. Uh, the, this is talking about when there was a siege against Israel. Nothing was coming in. Nothing was going out, and the people started eating even their own children. It was that terrible. No matter the situation we might have been going through from the beginning of this year up to this point, God has been faithful. He has seen us through. So this morning, I want us to pray and declare that every siege the enemy has put around my destiny, around my life, around my career, around my health, around my finances, around my family, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, every siege... The enemy has put around my destiny, around my family, around my finances, around my joy, around my career, around my peace. Lord, I decree those such seeds be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I decree in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the name and the blood of Jesus, every siege the enemy has put around me, around my family, around my prosperity, around my progress, around my joy, Lord, around my lifting, I decree such seed be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, O oh God, whatever it is, O oh God, representing the siege against my life, against my family, against my brethren, O oh Lord, against the body of Christ, Lord, I decree they are destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. They are pulled down, they are pulled down, they are pulled down, demolished in the mighty the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the God that wants wonders. You are the God that does miracles. Father, by that power, O oh Lord, which have given unto me, I decree every siege the enemy has put around my destiny, around the destiny of my family, my brethren, O oh Lord, around the destiny of those who are connected to me or related to me, be pulled down, be destroyed today 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who, op who open the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Second Kings 7, 6 also says, For the Lord has caused the Arameans to hear the sound of chariots and horses and a great army, so that they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel has hired the Hittites and Egyptian kings to attack us. Brethren, we are going to pray this morning. As we enter the eleventh month of this year, Father, multiply my strength and step that as I advance the word will perceive your power in me in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as this year is coming to an end, O God, in this eleventh month, O Lord, Father, multiply my strength, O Lord. Elevate me, O Lord. Exalt me like the horn of the unicorn, O Lord. That the whole world may perceive your power in me, O Lord. That they may know that I'm serving the living God, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray in this month of November, O Lord. Glorify your name in my life, O Lord. Lord, increase my strength, O Lord. Increase my faith in you, O Lord. Lift up my head, O Lord, Father. Exalt me like the horn of the unicorn, O God. Lord, let the whole world know, O Lord, that indeed you are my God, you are my Lord, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Second Kings 7, 2 says, The officer on whose arm the king was leaning said to the man of God, Look, even if the Lord should open the floodgates of the heavens, could this happen? You will see it with your own eyes, answered Elisha, but you will not eat any of it. This morning, brethren, we are going to pray. This is the eleventh month, and we are believing God for supernatural miracles. We are believing God to give us a testimony that everyone that shall hear, their ears will tingle, and every mouth will say, "It is only the Lord's will." Let us begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, O oh God, do in my life, O oh Lord. That's which we make everyone to say that the deed there is God in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, all those who are boasting that my situation is beyond repair, O oh God, let them see your goodness in my life, O oh Lord, Father, and be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Father, perform your wonders, O oh Lord. Perform your signs in my life, O oh God, that, Lord, my enemies will be put to shame, O oh God, and all the earth will know that indeed I'm serving a living God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Luke twenty two thirty two says, But I have prayed for you, Simon, Simon Peter, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Brother, this morning, no matter the situation or circumstances we are facing, we will not fall back in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, strengthen my face like the Hebrew boys. That when whatever may be the situation before me, O Lord, I will stand for you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I pray, O Lord, increase my strength, O God. Increase my faith in you, O Lord. Just like the Hebrew boys, O oh God, that no matter the situation or circumstances that come before me, O oh Lord, I will stand for you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, increase my faith in you, O oh Lord. Increase my faith in you, O oh Lord. Uphold me, O oh Lord, to the end, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Daniel 3.23 says, and these three men, talking about the uh, three Hebrew children, and these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. We know the story, but this morning, no matter what we are facing, no matter the challenge before, this morning, let us begin to pray that, Lord, even in the situation I have already fallen, whatever it is, we all know it, as our faces are different, so also are the challenges before us. So let us pray. Father, bring me out miraculously in the name of Jesus. Father, let us begin to pray. Father, Lord, no matter the situation, O oh Lord, that, have, that I am facing, O oh Lord, Father, deliver me, O oh Lord, Break me out miraculously, O oh Lord. Break me out, O oh God, with 
set your right hand of righteousness in the name of Jesus. No matter the situation before me, oh God. Father, Lord, you know it, oh God. Those areas of challenge in my life, oh Lord. Deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me, oh Lord. Bring me out miraculously, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make way for me, oh Lord, where there seems to be no way, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I worship you and bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Daniel 3.25 says, He said, Look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unarmed. And the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Let us begin to pray, brethren. The fourth man in the fire appeared now in my situation. So that men may know that indeed you are with me, Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, appear, O oh Lord, in that situation, in that challenge, O oh God, that is causing trouble, O oh God, that is giving me sleepless nights, Lord. Father, appear, O oh Lord, that all men may know that indeed you are my God, that indeed you are with me, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, oh Lord, that which is causing me sleepless night, oh Lord. That which is giving me, oh God, ache, oh Lord, in my heart, oh Lord. Lord, that committed it to your eyes, oh God. Show up, oh Lord, in my life, oh Lord. Show up, oh Lord, Father, that all men may know that indeed you are with me and you are for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Genesis 50, 20 says, but as for you, you thought of you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring it to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. The Bible says that it makes all things to work out for our good. This morning, brethren, let us pray. Mighty God, may all the challenges the enemy thought they are putting in my way become a stepping stone to my destiny in Jesus' name. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, all that the enemy meant for evil against me, Lord, turn it into a stepping stone for me in the name of Jesus. Every evil, O oh God, the camp of the enemy, O oh God, is planning against me. Father, Lord, turn it around for my good in the name of Jesus. Let it be for my promotion. Let it be for my lifting, O oh God. Let it be for my breakthrough. Oh Lord, let it be for my prosperity, O oh Lord. Let it be for my success, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything the enemy is planning, O oh God, for my against me, O oh Lord, turn it around, O oh God, for my good, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Genesis 40 23 and 41 9 says, The chief cup bearer, however, did not remember Joseph, he forgot him. Then the chief cobbler said to Pharaoh, Today I am reminded of my shortcomings. Brethren, we are going to pray. This is the 11th month. God, all, all the helpers God has ordained to help us, wherever they may be, they will not have peace, they will not have rest because of us. Father, let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, all the helpers that have forgotten me, Lord, make them to remember me for good today in the name of Jesus. Lord, all the helpers who have ordained for me, Lord, wherever they may be, oh Lord, from the four corners of the earth, oh God, Lord, make them to remember me for good today, that I may be delivered from my prison to my palace, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send for destiny helpers unto me, O Lord. Father, send forth, O God, timely helpers unto me in the name of Jesus. Father, send forth, O God, tireless helpers, O Lord. Unsolicited helpers. Father, send unto me and my family, Lord, and my brethren, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Genesis 18, 1 to 2 says, The Lord appeared to Abraham near the large trees of Mamre. Abraham was sitting at the entrance to his tent. It was the hottest time of the day. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. So he quickly left the entrance to his tent to greet them. He bowed low to the ground. We are praying this morning, mighty God, even in the hottest point of my life, you know what it is. We all know where the shoe is pinching us. Even in this hottest point of my life, come to visit me for transformation in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, even in this hottest point of my life, oh Lord, Father, spiritually, physically, materially, maritally, financially, emotionally, in every aspect, oh Lord. Father, Lord, I pray, oh God, show up, oh Lord. Visit me, oh 
oh God, Father. Let me receive a divine touch from you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. That, oh God, which is causing sorrow, oh Lord. That which is causing sleepless nights, oh God. Hand it over unto you, oh God. Father, let him receive a divine touch from you, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Genesis 18, 12. So she laughed to her and said, that was Sarah, the wife of Abraham, because she thought it is her own has finished. It is impossible. So she laughed to herself. She thought, I'm worn out and my husband is old. Can I really know the joy of having a baby? We ourselves, we are our own enemies. Sometimes we have already even given up on ourselves. We feel that it is impossible. It's too late. It's beyond what God can do. But this morning, God is telling us that no matter what, it's still God. Let us pray this morning, mighty God, in any situation that I myself have given up and thought it is impossible, show yourself as the God of the levels and miracle in Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, in every way that I've given up on myself, in every way, no Lord, that I thought it is finished, in every way that I said it is impossible, Father, show up, O oh Lord, for your name's sake, O oh God. Father, show up, O oh Lord, Father. Let all men know that indeed I'm serving a living God, that you are for me, that you are my God, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in that situation, O oh God, Father, where Lord have said it is over, where I said it is impossible. Father, show up, oh Lord, Father, and magnify your name, oh Lord, in my life, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Just two more prayer points, and we'll be rounding off. Luke 1 19 20 says, The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I serve God. I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will have to be silent. You will not be able to speak until after John is born. That's because you did not believe my words. They will come true at the time God has chosen. That is talking about Zechariah when they, there was a prophecy that Elizabeth would give birth to a child. And it's like he did not believe. This morning, let us begin to pray. Mighty God, let your promise to let your promise to me come to pass, regardless of my faith in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray. Father, Lord, help my unbelief, oh God. Let your promise come to pass in my life, regardless of my faith in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, even if I have faith as small as a mustard seed, that God can still do it. Father, I pray this morning, oh God, let your promise to, my, to me, oh God, be fulfilled, oh God, regardless of my faith, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Increase my faith in you, O oh Lord. Do that which you alone can do, O oh Lord. That which you have promised, O oh Lord, concerning me. Bring it to pass, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The last prayer point is taken from Matthew 26 to 7 and it says, about the eleventh hour he went out and found all and an idol and said unto them, why stand ye here all the day? I said to him, because no man at hired us. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is that you shall receive. This morning we are going to pray. Father, as I remain steadfast in your will, let time be compressed for me, that all I ought to get with time will come to me even now in Jesus' name. Before we pray this prayer, I just quickly want to say that some people, maybe for instance, um, they are mates, they have children, or before, but when it is their own turn, they may even have triplets, they may have twins to make up for all that they, I mean, it seems to be like they, they were lacking. Just that's an example. So let us begin to pray this morning. Father, as I remain steadfast in your will, let her be compressed for me that all I held all to get with time will come to me even now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, every outstanding blessings, O oh God, every outstanding blessings, O oh God, that you have ordained for me, Lord, I receive them with faith and thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, because your words will not alter, your covenants will not break. You say, as you have promised, so shall you do. Thank you, Father, for bringing it to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, O Lord, for all the prayers we have placed before you. We know you are a prayer answering God. Your ears are not deaf. We know that, Lord, you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask or think of. Thank you, Father, for answers to prayers. In Jesus' mighty name.